think that the Student Conservation Association has done a lot of thought work around how to best make environmental stewardship accessible to young people. How do we focus in the city? you know, instead of just going out there to different parts. And so I think we have an opportunity to do a lot of amazing work in green space near the homes where people live. I never looked at the environment like it was something that needed saving. I knew it was in a bad shape, but I didn't know there was simple things you could do to help improve it. The social trail is a trail created by the hikers. They just basically hiked over the vegetation so it's become bare now. So we're covering up the social trail and uncovering the main trails. We grew as a team and then we all came together and made a difference. We focus on one conservation project and contextualize that within learning about issues that root the work into the city that we're in. I learned how to use new tools that I've never seen before. And I also learned skills that I need, like business and making skills. It gives you a bigger sense of responsibility as far as not within yourself, but as far as the world go around you. I got a chance to help out my community and leave a mark and do something that actually matters. Work to make your home a better place. Don't just give up on your home born and raised in Detroit, so I feel very strongly about this. When we launched the SDA Green Cities Corps in 2008, we had two interns on the ground. This year in 2012, we have 18 Green Cities Fellows across 16 partners. Although it's not traditional hands-on conservation work in the backcountry maybe, it's hands-on urban sustainability work, working with the built environment and seeing how can we create a more sustainable place where we actually live. At the Pittsburgh Greenhouse Project, the point of the tour is to help people understand the different concepts throughout the house to make their home more sustainable and energy efficient. I've been able to have a measurable impact through the Green Workplace Challenge. We've saved 19 million kilowatt hours of energy, 9,000 metric tons of CO2 equivalent, and over 48 million gallons of water. So the SCA Green Cities Corps has actually been recognized by the Mayor of Pittsburgh. July 20th, 2012 was declared SCA Green Cities Corps Day through that award. This summer we've made a plot. We've grown vegetables. Our garden is growing real nice. A lot of um, vegetables and bell peppers. We've learned the importance of just protecting our earth and ourselves. Yeah, even like every day, like you'll start thinking more. Like I go to the grocery store now, I look at like how much like sugar is in it, how many grams of sugar. I would not have been able to do this without my crew members. You would never tell by all the work that we do that six people did this. We're all different in our own way, but when we together, we're compatible. At the Hunger Task Force, their mission is to supply food for places around Milwaukee, around town that doesn't have food. Definitely know how to like work in gardens and stuff like that better, and I know what like specific weeds are called, and I know if it's like invasive. I feel good because that's just letting me know that I'm helping my community out. There's not a lot of people that are employed to keep all this maintained, so a lot of the city parks as well as our forest preserve heavily relies on volunteer groups to do a lot of the restoration. This might be the only park within like 10 miles of where someone lives and this is their outdoor space. So it's awesome for empowering experiences to happen thousands of miles away from our homes, but if they can happen in the park next door, all the more reason. It goes back to saying someone's got to do it and who's better than the SCA.